Hi there, it's Gareth here from Heartfelt Horsemanship. Um, the title of today's video is Stop Deworming Your Horse. Now, I know there'll be a bunch of people that get all excited and think, yay, I'm going to save a bunch of money on deworming my horse. And another bunch of people that are going to be like, oh, what's this Heartfelt Horsemanship? Uh, <laughs> telling people to stop worrying about their horse's welfare. And the truth is, neither of those cases are the case. The reason I want to tell people to stop deworming their horses is recent science suggests that the methods that we've been using to deworm horses is causing a massive problem with medication resistant parasites so sorry if something just walks in your way there <laughs> thank you um, so this has been picked up over the years and probably about six years ago there was a study and that study showed the same thing with horses becoming resistant because people were deworming every three months and the solution at that point was well let's just alternate the type of dewormer we use every three months <clears throat> so that happened for a few years and then they redid the study and they were still finding disease resist uh, medication resistant dewormers uh, of parasites because of the way we we're doing it. So, stop doing that. I know the feed stores love to tell you, oh, three months, it's time to deworm your horse so they can make some money out of you. Um, so the feed stores won't find me very popular. I would say ask their qualifications if they argue with you on this point. But the fact of the matter is, let's say that person did their equine sciences degree 20 years ago and they now they've got a degree and 20 years of experience, they're going to have a pretty good argument with you about these things. The point is, these studies have been in the last 15 to 10, uh, 10 to 15 years. So, people that don't adjust their opinion based on the existing science are not helping the situation. So, we want to get this information out there more. So, what do you do? Do you just leave your horses to go through being skinny? Not at all. So, what I do, um, I do a fecal sample every six months. Or, if a horse is showing signs, dull coat, struggling with condition, um, excessive yawning, which is the case with, with mine at the moment. They're all in good condition, got nice shiny coats, but I'm noticing a lot of yawning, which can be a sign of parasites. So, what I do is I watch which horse it is and um, so how I get individual ones is I normally actually do it when I'm working the horse because in an hour hour and a half session you're likely going to have a horse um, pass manure and then you can get specific for that horse uh, what makes it even easier is if you have a stallion you bring them back to the paddock and they're going to go and stud pile and you get Nice uh, fresh manure. Now, why does fresh matter? Fresh matters because UV light is fatal for parasites, maggots, just about everything. So, if you get really dry out stuff, you might not actually find an egg count. So, I always put it in a bag. And as I go through each of my horses, I will mark this and I take it down to, uh, we use Allerton down in Maritzburg. It costs us 80 Rand per horse or per sample you do. Now you don't have to go and do all your horses. Um, I would focus on the horses that look rather run down. And, uh, but you can do per paddock and because there's a, probably a pretty good chance that uh, the entire paddock's going to have whatever the parasite is. Um, ideally, you would do each horse. You send the sample in. They tell you exactly what worms, if any, are present. And they will recommend a medication for that specific parasite. What we're doing, at the, what the old-fashioned way of doing it, every three months alternating which dewormer you're using, it's rapid fire. So you could be having a horse losing weight because it's got roundworms 
and that month or that three month cycle you are on a medication and a dewormer that doesn't have any impact on on roundworm and you might go a full year before you get back to that so that is another reason why it's so crucial that we adjust how we do this and we rather pay the 80 rand for example for me uh, for the last two lots the worm count has been under 200 parts per million and I have not needed to deworm. My horses have been in good condition. Um, I am suspecting because of the excessive yawning that I probably will have to do dewormer now, but that's once a year as opposed to every three months. Cool guys, um, hope that wasn't too controversial for you guys, but please don't just stick to a regular deworming schedule just because it says it in the textbooks. We are always evolving with the science that comes up. Thanks guys. Thank you.